Alright, we're back for more Saturday morning gaming, and we're going to continue with the anime theme. Instead of Sailor Moon, this time we're going with Yurisei Yatsura, Lumno Wedding Bell. And unlike the Sailor Moon games, which were kind of just passable, this one is a heaping bag of horse shit. Uh, it's playing the fucking demo. Oh no, no, wait, I'm going. Infant school. Ugh. No, no, wait, that is the demo. Come on! I'm hitting all the buttons. Alright, thank you. Ugh. This game's pissing me off right out of the gate. Why do I even have it? I kind of went on a Famicom buying binge sometime last year, and I just went hog wild. It's one of the four Famicom games I have a complete copy of. Why did I bother with this? Well, Yurisei Yatsura is... It was really big in Japan. The characters very popular. We're kind of talking Scooby-Doo popularity. So I figured... <sighs> might as well get it. For historical reasons and shit. Even though... It fucking blows. I mean, at least Scooby-Doo got a good game. Well, one that I know of. Oh! Yeah, he, it was Night of a Hundred Frights. I have it for the Xbox. It's a nice little 3D Metroidvania thing. It's not your standard, just slap together some shit platformer and call it a day. They put effort into that one, which is more than I can say for this, because... I'm pretty sure this wasn't even a year say yet sir game to begin with. It was some weird arcade game and they just slapped the character onto it. Alright. Roof. Wait for the fucking UF. Are you shitting me? Yeah, it was some arcade game, they just slapped the character onto it, and they just called it a day, and they just made a Famicom version, and they just. They just suckered a lot of poor Japanese kids and their parents. That sort of shit was. Not exclusive to here in America with LJN and shit. Ugh. They got this great character, this hot alien babe with turquoise hair who flies and shoots lightning bolts, and all they could think of ha for her for an action game was to just have her escape a burning building. Um. She can fucking fly. Can't she just. F at least just. Fly out a window? Or, or fly to the top of the building and then get to the UFO that way, at least? And they also tease you with SHIT! Yeah, and look at the title here, even though you can't read Japanese. Lum no Wedding Bell. Well, on the cover, they put her in a really hot wedding dress. I mean, Okay. Again. Alien chick, turquoise hair, flies around, shoots lightning bolts, and you put her in a wedding dress. That, that... That'd be... That would make a crazy awesome, fucked out, Japanese shmup. I mean, that is definitely shmup material. I mean, if they can make witch-themed stuff like Fantastic Night's Dreams Cotton, whatever it was called, or Magical Chase, why not do something like that for Lum? That, that'd be great. That'd be perfect. That'd be... Totally fucked out psychedelic shit that people would expect from a, a goofy Japanese shooter. But no, instead, she's just trying to escape a burning building. I mean, let's hear it for 8 bit women's liberation. Samus infiltrates a space pirate research space. Princess Peach liberates a dream dimension. Lum just has to escape a fucking burning building. Alright, didn't waste any lives then, at least. Yeah. Let's at least get past the the elementary school level. And it clearly shows... I went and watched, like, the first three episodes online and shit. Growing up through all the stages of life on Earth, she only comes to Earth the first time as an adult. 
What the fuck were they thinking with this shit biscuit? Were they that desperate to just slap Lum on a game cover? And just call it a day? And. Oh, and these fucking panda kitty things. Or, or polar panda bear things. What, whatever the f Get off! Fucking ledge hogs. Get, 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 get that shit off of my ledge. Oh, you piss fucker. Start you off on the last floor you were on instead of making you go back to the beginning of the level. Grateful for the little things. Oh, it didn't. It didn't do the like the big jump. I fucking hate trampolines in games. I can never time this shit right. It took me forever to figure out the gimmick for that shit in Plant Man stage in Mega Man Six. Ugh. Go away, go away, go away. Get, get, what the fuck? Get the get the. Get that shit out of my face! Oh, and I can't shoot while I'm on the thing. Brilliant. Just, just fucking brilliant. Is there any good Yurusi Yatsura games? I know some others. It's like there's this Game Boy one that's like a text RPG adventure thing, but it stars the male character. I forget his name. I know it starts with an A. And I'm going on GameFox to look at all the others. There's like, looks like they're mostly dating sims and sh text adventures and shit. You got this chick who can fly and shoot lightning bolts, and they can't make a decent action game out of her. We're given all the tools, and, and Jaleco just... just fucks it up. Oh, god damn. Why am I playing this? Why am I just... Why am I bothering? I'm just shooting fucking Octoroks from Legend of Zelda and... Whatever the hell those things are. And I can't go that way. And here comes the fire. She didn't start the fire. But it's always burning and... She's gotta get the fuck out of here. And shooting little, like, Native Americans, and... Oh, shit! Okay, you gotta get this, and now I gotta wait for it to come back. Uh, and... Fuck me. And I get a power-up and I immediately die. You know what? Fuck this game. I've shown you guys everything you need to see. This is Yurisei Yatsura Lumno Wedding Bell. I went and bought a complete copy for posterity so you guys didn't have to share in my stupid-ass mistake. See you next week.